Thanks so much for joining me today. We're going to do an overview and a little bit of a quick start on that module one short paper. So I want to set the stage for you for this assignment. We're continuing here to develop our definition of what sustainability is, especially through recognizing issues in our own daily lives. But this writing assignment, it gives you an opportunity to examine some of the sustainability issues in your own daily life and then to consider the impact they may be having. So I'm glad you joined me for this introduction to the module one short paper. In this short video, we're gonna go over the assignment and the grading rubric. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you're asked to explain what sustainability means to you through examples from your personal experience or examples that resonate with you. I'll give you some examples here. I actually live in the northeastern part of Florida and one of the sustainability issues here is over harvesting of shrimp. I go down to the beach, I see these huge shrimp boats with their nets out extended like you see in that top picture there. Shrimp over harvesting has impacts on all three of the pillars of sustainability. A second issue shown on the middle picture and the bottom picture is the sustainability of our beaches here. Each year millions of dollars are spent to rejuvenate those beaches. They add sand, they actually truck it in. They bring in that sand because those beaches attract millions of tourists. So they're really an important part of our local economy, not to mention an important part of the local ecosystem. So see how I did that? I looked for those particular sustainability issues in my own daily life that I experience. Okay, let's turn to the second section of this paper. The second section asks us to describe how sustainability impacts our daily life. So here you wanna ask yourself, what sustainability issues do I consider when I'm making decisions? Perhaps you think about things like biking or walking a short distance versus driving. Maybe you replaced your light bulbs with LED bulbs, or maybe you bought reusable bags to take to the grocery store. So what other things might you do in your daily life and how would those things impact your daily life? And then the third section of the paper, you're going to write about how your daily actions can impact the environment. So I'm thinking back to the examples that I just gave in the second section. And here are some things I found. Did you know that replacing a single LED light bulb can save about 75% of the electricity that was used with that old fashioned incandescent bulb? Riding a bike or walking to the grocery store might save as much as 50 cents per mile when you include gas and wear and tear on the vehicle. That can actually add up to $1,000 a year for many people. Finally, reusable shopping bags reduce carbon footprints from producing those plastic bags. They help to keep plastics out of landfills and they protect ecosystems from plastic pollution. So some good things to think about to get you started there on that third section of the paper. Now let's take a look at the grading rubric. So I want you to be informed about how I will assess your, your uh, assignment here. Let's take a look at each row individually. The first row on the rubric talks about sustainability. Did you clearly explain how you define sustainability by using details and examples to form that definition? The second row is called daily life. Did you explain how decisions related to sustainability impacts that you see on a daily basis? Did you provide specific examples that demonstrate sustainability? The third row is all about impact. Did you clearly describe how your daily actions can help or harm the environment using details and specific examples? And then finally, the bottom row there, clear communication. Is your short paper clear? Is it concise? Mostly, is it easy to follow for the reader? Does the reader understand the purpose of your writing? Now here, you might actually ask someone to take a, a quick look at it. Have them skim your paper, see if they understand what your point of view really is on each one of those sections. I find that really helpful to do. All right, so thank you so much for joining me for this short introduction and uh, some tips there on the module one short paper. I'm really looking forward to reading your papers seeing what it is that's impacting you in your daily lives in terms of sustainability and understanding how you're seeing the impacts of those issues on your own local environment.
As always, I'm here to support you. Please make sure that you're reaching out to me. You can find me on email or text, um, and I'm here to help you. So please reach out if you have, I have a question. Thanks very much. Have a great day.